It's February 21st, 2021. I'm Todd Dunn, and today is the first day of my fifth year on YouTube. So this is my annual wrap-up video, in which I'm going to talk a little bit about how my channel did during year four on YouTube. So, basically what I'll be doing is putting up a table of numbers, showing the channel's performance and talking about them a little bit, and then I want to talk about where is the channel going to go during its fifth year. Talk about you know, what I have in mind now, bearing in mind that that could change completely over the next few months. And I'm also going to ask you people for a few suggestions uh, about uh, and opinions about where my channel should go. So, hopefully... Uh, I'll get some useful comments from you people, and that will give me good guidance on what exactly I should be doing with my channel. So, let's get going and take a look at the numbers. Okay, let's take a look at how my YouTube channel did in its fourth year. Now, I've put up in this table uh, information on how many videos I made, how many views I had, how many hours people spent watching my channel, the number of subscribers I gained and, gained, and revenue. That's a new thing this year. And I've also summarized how well the channel has done for its full four years. So let's go through this table and uh, talk a little bit about what's going on. In year four, last year, I made 92 videos. That's up a little bit from my third year when I made 85. My peak year was the second year when I made 100. So I'm relatively consistent. And over the four years that the channel has been around, I have made 371 videos, which is almost 93 videos a year. So year four was pretty much on par. Last year, I had 164,000 811 views, and I appreciate every one of them. That's a big increase from year three, a 65% increase, and uh, almost half of my total videos that the channel's had over the four years that it's been around, 390,000 videos in four years. So that was, last year was a really good year in terms of views. What about watch hours? Well, it's about the same. 12,572 hours people spent watching my videos. I am stunned. I mean, wow, that's incredible. Year three, I had less than half the watch hours, 5,740. And I'm just below half of my total watch hours were last year. So that was a really big step up for me. What about subscribers? In year four, I gained 694 subscribers. Wow, I really appreciate it from everybody that subscribed to my channel. That's, as you can see, that's a big, big jump. Over 400 subscribers more in year four than I gained in year three. And I now have 1,476 subscribers. Now, let's look back at those numbers a little bit. On YouTube, in order for your videos to be monetized, you have to have more than 1,000 subscribers. And you have to have more than 4,000 hours. So you can see that in year four, given my total subscribers now and how many subscribers I gained in year four, that's when I passed the 1,000 subscriber mark. As a matter of fact, it happened on July 30th. <laughs> And my watch hours are well over 4,000 and have been for a couple of years. So, magically, my channel became monetized right at the end of July. And I started making a little bit of money on my videos. Not a lot. And in my fourth year, from the end of July up till yesterday, I made $530.07. That's about $75 a month. And my intention is to devote every penny of that money to the channel. I've already bought a GoPro Hero 9 to improve my video quality. 
and I will be spending my YouTube earnings on things for the channel exclusively. You'll notice that my total earnings are a little bit higher, almost $19 higher than my year four earnings. And that is because early on, at the end of my first year and into my second year, I passed the uh, threshold for monetization. And I had made almost $19 when YouTube changed the rules and said you had to have a thousand subscribers, which I did not. So my channel was demonetized for about two and a half years. But anyway, it's monetized now. I hope people don't uh, find the ads that YouTube puts on too irritating. But if when you see one, just bear in mind that that revenue will be used to improve the channel. Okay. Let's go on now and talk about where I think my channel. Well, that was interesting. So, where's the channel going to go uh, during its fifth year? Well, I will continue with boating videos. Boating is kind of a never-ending thing for me. I'll start out uh, with boat maintenance videos starting in about a month and a half when it warms up enough to go on the boats. And... Then, uh, in the water videos, and I have some things in mind that I think will be a little more interesting than some of the stuff I did last year. And on that, those, of course, will be mixed in with videos about uh, Mount Desert Island, Acadia National Park, what's going on in Bar Harbor, and uh, just living on the coast of Maine. And I may... I'll be putting up some more videos on chronic lymphocytic leukemia. That's going to depend on what comes up in my next checkup, which I think will be sometime in March. Anyway, uh, the things that I wanted to talk about are, in addition to what I just mentioned, what do you people want to see on my channel? I uh, have some ideas about uh, new things that I could put on a channel and other things I could do. I'm not sure exactly what I'm going to go with, but uh, let me throw a few things out. One thing that I'd like to do is some more videos about the various products I use, particularly on my boats. You know, and, and in that area, a bit more about solar power. And uh, and also some gadgetry for the boats. The, what's holding me back on that is that I don't really, at this point, need any new solar power uh, uh, components for my boats, and I don't really need any new electronics or anything, so it's difficult for me to justify spending the money to buy stuff just to make YouTube videos about the stuff, and then, you know, doing whatever I do with the uh, components. So, you know, I know that now that my videos are monetized, I am bringing a little bit of money in from YouTube, uh, averaging, as I said, about $75 a month. I can spend that money on products that I can talk about and install on the boats and uh, basically describe how well they work. And... Another possibility, though, is that I could uh, start a Patreon page and dedicate any money that comes in from Patreon, not that I expect much would come in, uh, to uh, product purchases and then installation of those products and videos about those products. The thing about that is I feel a little guilty uh, doing that. I mean, I'm not poor, so I don't really need the money. It's just a question of, uh, I do have a feeling about spending money, and that, it, and that is that if I don't need something in my life, I tend not to buy it. So, uh, and, you know, if I had a dedicated income stream 
for purchasing things that I don't need, uh, I would not feel so bad about buying them. And I would even feel justified in uh, giving them away when I was finished. Uh, but, you know, that's kind of where I am. I'm not sure that a Patreon page is the way to go. Uh, just because, you know, as I said, I don't actually need the money. But, uh, you know, if I had that income stream coming in, however small it was, I would put it toward uh, products bought specifically to uh, make videos about. So, that's where I am right now and where I think the channel is going. I'm hoping it continues to grow at the same or even a faster pace than it did in my fourth year. And, uh, but we'll see. I uh, have had years where it went the other way. Year three, for example, was not as good as year two. But I think I finally broke through last year. So hopefully the channel will continue to grow. And for that to happen, I need you people to subscribe. Click that like button and click that notification bell so you'll find out when my next exciting video is posted, since I do not adhere to any kind of schedule. Thanks for watching.